Hello, my name is Václav Brzezina. I am the lead developer of Langsbox. In this tutorial, you will learn how to load data into Langsbox and how to obtain free corpora that are distributed with Langsbox. Data can be loaded and imported into Langsbox on the corpora tab. This tab opens automatically when you run Langsbox. Langsbox works with corpora in different formats and also with word lists. There are two options for loading corpora and word lists. First, load corpora. Second, download corpora and word lists that are distributed freely with Langsbox. Let's go through these options one by one. First, loading your corpora and word lists. Langsbox allows you to work easily with your corpora and word lists. These corpora are stored on your computer or a location accessible from your computer, such as a memory stick, shared drive, Dropbox, Cloud, and so on. This is the first option that you can see on the corpora tab. In order to load your corpus, just click on the corpus button, navigate to your corpus on your hard drive or memory stick, Control or Command A to select all files in your corpus and simply click open. You need to type in your corpus name, my corpus, and click import. Now Langsbox is processing your corpus, adding the part of speech tags automatically. And as you can see, in no time, the corpus appears among the corpora that are available to you. The second option is to download corpora that are available for free with Langsbox. That's the second option, download a corpus. Again, click on the corpus button under download. Select the corpus that you want to download. In this case, I want to download the brown corpus, the one million word corpus of American English. Hit download. And in no time, the brown corpus will appear in the top panel. I click import to import the corpus. Again, part of speech tagging is being added as the corpus is imported into Langsbox. And in a few moments, the brown corpus will appear in the bottom panel. Okay, as you can see, the brown corpus is now loaded. You can review the language, number of files, tokens, types, and lemmas. You can also preview individual files inside the corpus. If you right click on any of those files, it will appear in the text view. You can scroll down here, just closing this. You can also see that I have the lob corpus here, which says unloaded. This is because I loaded the corpus previously, but closed the Langsbox tool and reopened it. To reload the corpus, simply Double click on the corpus and again in no time lob will be ready to be used. So far we've worked with English corpora. The default language here was English. If you want to select a different language you can do that very very easily. Just scroll down to find the language of your choice. If you can't find the language just simply say other. In this case the morphological analysis and part of speech tagging won't be available. As I mentioned before, you can also load word lists into Langsbox. Just select the word list you want to load. I say lob words and hit import. Again, word list will appear in the bottom panel where you have all your corpora that are available to Langsbox. The word list will be indicated by a different symbol the word list symbol as opposed to a corpus symbol. Advanced users might like to review also the options for part of speech tagging. Choose English here. For English, I can add the part of speech tagging using the tree tagger. I can choose the token delimiters, define lemmas, define POS categories, review the POS tags, and define punctuation. For most purposes, you can simply leave the defaults. If you want to know more information, you can simply click on the help button here.